Hi nail friends and nail babes. Welcome back to the Nail Struggles channel where I try the nail thing so you don't have to. So if you haven't hit like and subscribe, come on in, you join us. We do lots of hauls, we do lots of fun stuff and hopefully I give you some information that you can use while maybe you're on your nail journey or maybe you are a nail tech and you are just looking for other ideas of things to help you out in your business. So today I am going to discuss my nail storage because if you're anything like me, you are totally obsessed with nails and you are buying, buying, buying. Let's just be honest, most of the world is on lockdown and you're buying from AliExpress and Amazon and eBay and the 50 million other places where you can buy nail supplies. So one thing that we need to do, we need to be organized. We need to know exactly what we have so that we're not buying one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. You know who you are. I see you. And yes, I'm judging you right now because you don't even know what you have because you don't even know where it is because you got so much of it and you're just shoving it and piling it everywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into this video to show with you some of the things that I have that I am using for storage. So this is a binder, okay? Right now, Walmart, and I'm going to go ahead. I know uh, Walmart and a few other places are definitely doing clearance on school supplies because we're into November and with the children not going to school, a lot of the stuff either didn't get bought in the same capacity that was used to or it's on clearance shelves across the country. But this binder is normally $6. I was able to buy it for a dollar. And let me tell you, show you what I do with it. So on the inside, right now I have these binder inserts. I was actually able to find uh, five of the inserts were for a quarter. I, this is where I store my decals or decals, depending on however you say it from whatever part of the world you're in, in here. And please know that this is a work in process because I have been trying a few different things in order to help me to find what I have. So, you know, butterflies are really big this year. I see the butterflies will still be used. And, you know, I, I personally love butterflies because of what they stand for. So... Here I have my butterflies organized by color and then if myself or a client is looking for butterflies we can see even the style of butterflies and all I have to do is pull them out and they can look through here very easily. Something else that I have in here are my nail foils. Now let me show you. I'm going to do a nail haul foil uh, for you but I actually mark all of my boxes when they come in they are marked by number and then each slot is also given a letter. So with that, I am able to pull my nail foil box and I know by the number of the box and the letter of the location based on what's here in my folder where to find my nail foil. So what I did is that I just went ahead and I just and I cut off a small piece of a, a nail foil and I put it here on the book. So and then I went ahead and also labeled it by as you see both the number of the box and the letter of the location of the foil. So whether myself or someone else is coming to look at a nail foil, they can easily look through this book and they're able to equally and very easily see. And as well as you, you, I'm talking to you, know exactly what it is you have and what type of foil colors and that that you have. Now, for those of you that might want to know, these are just baseball card uh, inserts. Okay, they come nine to a page. You can find them. I actually purchased them on Amazon. I'll go ahead and link them below in my nail um, in my uh, nail storage area that um, you will see the link in below. So something else that I'm actually going to put in here is that I'm going to uh, take some other empty pages and I'm going to revamp them so that I can add my stamping plates in here because. If you don't know if you're into stamping, that's a whole nother rabbit hole that we can go down into. You will be forever trying to figure out what it is you have or how to organize them. So see right now, I have some additional other uh, nail stickers that are here that are for Christmas that I cannot wait to use, but I have to revamp the uh, size of the sheets because they don't fit in here. But I do put them in here in my book so that I know exactly where they are, number one, and then number two, I already know that I need to design some pages in that so that they fit. So this book is going to be specifically for my nail foils, my nail decals or decals and stickers, and as well as the stamping plates. Now this says it holds 400 sheets of paper, but I'm sure that by the time I fill this up with all my stamping plates, probably going to be only in the realm of maybe 100 of these plastic sheets are going to fit um, in here without the folder completely busting through. The next thing that I want to talk to you about is these particular little storage containers. So I'm going to put them to the side, but I'm just going to show you. I purchased these, you can find these um, at Walmart. 
You can also find them, but I purchased mine from the dollar store and I received three of them for $1. Now I love these because I right now I have more than a few of these, but I have these where I have my nail embellishments and nail embedments organized and things that I need to show you all. So this also helps me because everything that I need to show you, I put them in drawers and they put them in these containers and they're in separate drawers. So I know exactly what it is that I need to show you guys. So this here is just dealing with a lot of different rhinestones, which you all are going to see. And as well as some glitters and you know, these round, you know, em em embellishment holders that you get, whether you're ordering, you know, Amazon, eBay, AliExpress or whatnot. And so right now they're in here because I want to be able to show you these things that I have in a haul, but then also to kind of keep them organized so that they're just not sitting in packages or floating around in a drawer. So hopefully that gives you an idea for these. The second thing that I have is that I actually have the larger containers and this actually fits inside of a, what is this? A uh, five drawer small cart that I found at Michael's. Um, it's called a letterpress drawer, but you can find them usually Ikea and everybody else can, uh, carries them. I'm gonna try ahead and link it below for you. But what I did is that I take these containers and these containers, I have a lot because this isn't even all I have because I have a lot more things that I'm trying to finish organizing. But I get two of them for a dollar at the dollar store. Love these because this is just an example of one of the containers I have in one of my drawers. They have my nail forms in here. I have nail forms from Tammy Taylor, from Young Nails, you know, little cheapy teepy ones you get from school, which, you know, I, I still love because that's what I first learned how to work with. As well as I have a disposable file system. Um, the inserts are the extras and attachments are here, a couple of nail file blocks as well as some uh, some butterfly forms that I use to sculpt out stilettos. And this is just the, um, the, this is just the block for the disposable file system, which we'll talk about in another video. But I love keeping them organized in my drawer as well as my swatch sticks because I like to swatch things as soon as they come in or I, at the very least by the next day. Because if you don't, what ends up happening, it just sits on your, you know, wherever it is you that stuff goes to sit until you're ready to get to it. Alrighty, we have gotten to that and let's go ahead and push right along while I go ahead and put this back into my drawer. But the second thing that I want to show you are nail tip organizers. So this is just something I got from my local nail supply. Um, and if you, for those of you that have ordered nail tips on Amazon or anything else, a lot of times they don't come in the box and it can be overwhelming when you have a whole lot of these bags that are just sitting around. I personally have like four or five of these boxes because I, these are my natural tips, but I also have one for clear tips. I have one for the ones that are C curved. Um, I have one that are my stiletto nail tips. And I believe that I also have one that um, actually is open for my extendio tips. And I also have some practice nail tips in that that was just in an open space um, for over here. But go ahead, grab yourself a couple of nail boxes. You can usually find them. Um, if I can find them on Amazon, I'll go ahead and link it for you. Uh, but I, it's, it can be very overwhelming when you get bags of nail tips like this to figure out taking them out and trying to size them to your nails it would be so much better if you just had a nail box you take them out, size them to yourself, and keep right on moving. All righty. So the next thing I have are these containers. They are found on Amazon. I'm gonna try to link those below for you as well. And I've also found these at both Michael's and Joann's as well. This is how I organize my uh, rhinestones. So let me just show you because I have, I have a couple of sets of these and the reason that I do is because I also uh, travel to do nails. Not so much with lockdown, <laughs> but I have these organized by rhinestone size from smallest to largest and i also have the size of the rhinestones of the stickers on the container the reason i did that is because of this let me show you i had all of my rhinestones in a box like this i also have one of those large clear boxes with the tops that you see everybody else who does nails on youtube has and it's so beautiful you can see all the nails and it's so just -la 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 -la. you want to buy some more crystals however I almost flipped that thing on the floor one time doing someone's nails and I knew then that was not the storage solution for me. So if you're one of those people that you're usually moving fast, which that's most of us, 
this is a great option now, i've not put all my rhinestones in here because i have a huge rhinestone nail haul coming and i want to show you all my rhinestones before i depackage them and put them in here but as you can see it's very easy when you're going ahead and you're doing someone's nails you can unscrew it you can go ahead you can pull out the rhinestone or you know use your brush to pull out the rhinestone that is that you need to put on the person's nails and you pretty much don't have to worry about you know having your whole collection and god forbid if your whole collection if that box were to hit the floor i would be much more comfortable with this hitting the floor and knowing from a sanitary perspective knowing that my stuff is probably not going to go anywhere and if at most i might crack it and lose a couple versus my entire collection falling and hitting they said the floor air. okay all righty let's move on we're getting it we're getting somewhere ladies and gentlemen all right so again I have these large uh, collections like this one. I believe that I actually picked up from Walmart, but I have a couple of more that I have picked up from Amazon, Michaels, uh, Joe and Joanne's as well. This is just is where I store. I told if, I told you all, if you've seen in another video, I like to make color gels. I love both hard gel and I love uh, acrylic, but there are a lot of glitter gels in there that I like. But personally, 20 bucks a glitter gel is a lot so i have gone on to make my own colored glitter gels so when i do that i put them in here i make a swatch for them and i number them and i keep them in here it's just so much easier for me to look on my swatch stick know the number come in here grab the color i need and keep going something else that i also did with a uh, a very very similar container um again we are talking nail storage nail babes okay is i took one of the similar containers and i added all of my chromes and i have a few glitters in here that um they're not enough for me to put in a glitter container like this because they're such a small amount but this shows me and i know where my items are so these are all of my chromes that i have today they are organized by color i know exactly what it is i have excuse me as i get a sip of tea but all of my chromes are in here all of the applicators for the chromes um are here and i know where my stuff is okay because i'm one of those persons i hate when i'm trying to go do my nails i do not have time to sit here and figure out well where is this color i think i had this color do i have this color do i need to order that color all right here so this is my chrome box the next box that i'm going to share with you is one of my favorite boxes in the world and it is my glitter box typically now before i get to the rest of that i like to buy glitters in these particular jars um i buy them off of amazon like this is a brand that you can find on amazon you can also find on i believe michael's as well carries this and uh joann's usually carries this particular brand which i think they might even be the same one who knows yep they are but i buy, i love to buy glitters like this however this is not always the easiest solution when you are trying to sit and do with someone's nails and put glitter on trying to open it up reach your brush in to get glitter or trying to pour it out um, and in order to lessen the amount of waste i have now i love them because they stack on top of one another so one day i may show you my glitter cabinet because i actually have a glitter cabinet <laughs> and it's full of said glitter because <laughs> i love glitter so what i ended up doing is that i took this box here and as you see i opened it up and I took all of my glitters and I did them by color and I kind of depotted glitters into these containers right here. Now these packages, these containers you can find, like I said, Amazon, Michaels, Joann's. You can also find them on um, Ally Express. You may be able to find them at Big Lots sometimes as well. These run about $10. But I love these because I can just go ahead, take out the, the type of glitter it is that I need. And I have glitters and I have pigments. They're all here and when i am working on someone's nails on my own i can come here pick out what i have use it and put it back it just makes for having a much easier life to organize yourself especially when you're trying to do your nails you're not trying to figure out where a hundred different things are when you're trying to do your nails the last but not least are these stackable containers these stackable containers i actually found at walmart these are one dollar for i think this is six this is six so i have um a few pigments in that that are in here and what I have found is that if you cannot buy these large boxes, because these large boxes, like I said, these are 10 bucks a piece. Okay, these are 10 bucks a piece. But if you want to get yourself started on trying to organize yourself, these stackable containers of six are found at Walmart for one dollar. Okay, so go ahead, pick yourself up some of those, put your rhinestones in them, put your glitter in them, because like I said, I like to use these separately 
for my rhinestones uh, when I'm traveling. They easily travel and I don't have to worry about them falling all over my bag and that. So hopefully I uh, gave you some ideas. Oh, I forgot. Last but not least, um, my storage container that I use for my, uh, especially my gel brushes. And I have a couple of um, what I call my waste brushes when I'm using, I'm trying out different things that I keep in here. So I'm going to show you this. It has a container. If you don't know, dust is the enemy of a gel brush <laughs> for those of you and our brushes. So for those of you that have done nails for long enough, um, these boxes are definitely kept out of the sun because if you don't know, a gel brush exposed to UV rays, even the slightest, will cause it to cure. But these are actually kept in a part of my office that doesn't get any uh, sunlight. But I love these containers to keep my brushes in, especially a lot of my art brushes, because I don't have to worry about dust getting on them. They look very nice in my room, um, but these are pricey. These are like $14 to $16. I own about 10 of these. So I have brushes galore for days for both my makeup collection and my nail collection. So I'm going to tell you right now, you may like these if you are trying to store, um, if you need somewhere to store your brushes. I don't store my acrylic brushes right side up when I'm done dealing with them because I don't want the monomer to flow back into the Fero to mess it up. So hopefully I gave you all some ideas of how to store your stuff and maybe you can if you want to go ahead in the comments drop below some of the ideas of things that you use in order to store some of your items because i'm sure you would help somebody out and if you haven't go ahead and hit like and subscribe and nail babes remember life is too short to have boring nails and we're out